especially this second half of my career, I'm just living my life at peace and being happy. Whatever happened in my life happens, you know, and um, but at the end of the day, I'm able to to hold those memories, go back and, and, and share it with my loved ones and um, go down in history as a, as a great man. So, you know, when you say you have to do certain things, you're automatically adding pressure upon yourself due to those that already added pressure to, to you too because people on the outside looking in, they expecting something else, they expecting things as well as I'm expecting of myself and I'm only one man. You can't please everyone. And I only try to please myself and please my family, and that's what I'm doing. And lastly, we are as close to that Joshua fight as we've ever been. This is the stage that is set so that the two of you can meet in, in March. But Joshua has said that he'd rather fight for the title than to fight you. Hey, well, you know, well, you see where his energy is. You know, I'd rather fight him than rather fight for a belt. You know, because sometimes this opportunity don't come around often, you know. Um, He's been a champion before, so the opportunity of being able to fight for a title should come around for him again. But being able to fight another rival, something that's been going on for decades to be able to fight him, I wouldn't, I, you know, I don't know why would he pass that up, you know. But, you know, different strokes for different folks is the same. You know, I want him, but I don't know if he wants me. And like I told him before when I saw him, if we never fight, I wish him nothing but the best and nothing less. And I, I, I really mean that, and I still mean that to this day. Listen, uh, listen, the people have seen Wilder fight, and his record speaks for itself. He's got that knockout power that everyone tries to avoid or people are scared of, but I love to challenge myself, and I believe full heartily that I can win this fight. And I've had the best prep, George Lockhart, Andy Lee, started off in Ireland, went to England, and I feel I feel way better. I feel a lot better than I did last fight. And um, I know the, the level of opposition isn't the same, Simon Keane versus Wilder, but I feel like coming to this fight, I got more power, more speed, better movement, and I, listen, my focus is gonna be on point every second, every minute, every round. Now, one of your best mates is the only guy to have ever beaten Deontay Wilder, yeah. uh, and Tyson Fury, of course. Has he given you any pointers for this yeah, fight? Yeah, he did. He, uh, he said, my only piece of advice to you, Joe, would be avoid right hand and don't get knocked out. <laughs> I said, thank you, Tyson. <laughs> Ty no, but uh, Tyson has always made time to, to help me out, and he's given me good advice, and he's, give, he's given me some good rounds to show me little bits and pieces. So him and Andy together have come up, Andy come up with a good game plan, and I believe we're going to take this fight and win. Uh, Fury famously said, you know, what he learned in the first fight was that you just have to go at Wilder. You have to be aggressive and, and not really actually the opposite of what you say. Avoid the right hand. You go right into it. Is that a tactic you could possibly use Saturday night? Are you maybe trying to be the bully in there? Listen, it's uh, going in. I've, I've done it all in practice anyways, you know, but it's just about being smart in there. You can be the bully. You can move around. It's, it's all about dictating the pace of the fight and landing your shots and not getting hit at the same time. So it sounds easy, but... Just have to, have, to, have to execute it. Do you agree that you have the toughest fight on the card? I feel like I have a tough fight. I feel like Deontay's got a tough fight in me. You know, I've, I've trained real hard for this, and I, I feel like I'm fully prepared for this. And Andy did say it's written in the stars, so it's time for us to, to make a statement. Even though there's no titles on the line, a win over Deontay Wilder at this stage, you feel like that would be the biggest win of your career? I think it would be the biggest win of my career, and I feel it will open all the doors. For There's other big fights, but this is a massive fight. Uh, we're going into this fight, good game plan, great strategy, and listen, respect to Wilder, but I'm here to do a job, and I'm here to win. That's it. 
Listen, Joe, you're not going to get away with that. In, in your corner, you, you've got Andy Lee. You know, you've been going to Tyson Fury for advice as well. I've seen Tyson do a couple of interviews talking about it. What sort of benefit have you got from this camp where Deontay Wilder's looking in the opposite corner and he is seeing the same camp that actually inflicted his only defeats? Like I said, we have a great camp and the people involved. But when I go out there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on a great display. I'm the car for this job. I'm definitely coming to do what I do best. You know, it's something that that's that's God given. It's something that I don't have to to pressure myself do or, or, or others apply pressure on to me. It's something that come naturally, and um, I'm coming to do it again um, this time around as well. So, like Shelly told you, like I always say, don't blink, baby. Bam. Good night. Then that he's gonna gonna knock me out. But I, I, I kind of hard that find to be, uh, hard to believe. Because uh, how, how can you have confidence in yourself as a challenger and you didn't have confidence in yourself as a champion? It's kind of backwards to me. But uh, whatever flows is boat. We'll see what happens on Saturday night. I, I can't wait to look. I'm looking forward to sharing the ring with him and may the best man win. Joseph, have you been running from Deontay Wilder? I don't run from anyone, Dev. As you can see, I fight the best in the world every time. Joseph, I want, to, um, I want to read you a quote which I have seen from Deontay Wilder. Something he said which I thought, okay, he's, he's gone in a little bit here. He said, I want to knock him out of the ring. I've never knocked a man out of the ring. I want to knock him out of the ring and I don't want nobody to hold him up when he falls. I want him to fall straight on the floor and on the ground with his arm folded out, looking up into the sky. These are words that have left the mouth of Deontay Wilder. Now, hearing that, that sounds like quite a brutal warning. What, is, what goes through your mind when you hear that? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Deontay, uh, anything to say to that? I mean, these words did leave your mouth. It sounds like you're, you're coming here with bad intentions. Well, you know, I, I come to do what I, I do best, you know. Um, that's a site to get the fans what they want to see, you know. At the end of the day, no one wants to see a 12-round fight. It, it's a whole bunch of heavyweights up here, and we're the hard hitters. And um, at the end of the day, people have things to do. And they want to come and see a fight, and after that, they want to go party. So when you're watching me, like I said, don't blink. I'm going to give you what you want to see. And um, my, nowadays, my name is called Dr. Sleep. And um, I definitely got the night quill in the right hand, so I hope you bring a pillow and a blanket. It get a little chilly at night. Thank you, Deontay. Just, uh, Joseph, do you, I mean, do you intend on bringing a pillow? Are you taking Everybody his advice? Working on these raps now, boy. Yeah, don't ask me silly questions. <laughs> a stupid question. On to the next one. Wilder, official weight, 213 pounds for Deontay Wilder, former world champion versus former world champion on the line, the prestigious two titles, WBC vacant title, WBC international championship, WBO intercontinental championship. 12 rounds scheduled. It's Parker versus Wilder.
of reckoning. The big boys are in the house. It all goes down tomorrow night at the Kingdom Arena, Boulevard City, Riyadh. Andy, you'll be in his corner. What have you told him to focus on besides don't get knocked out? Fight fire with fire. Really? Let your hands go. So you're not going to be surprised if Joseph Parker gets a KO? We expect it. All right, Deontay, you, your final words to the, the fans watching around the world right now. To all the fans, I love you so much. Thank you for the love and support that you guys have been giving me over the years. And um, I'm not going to disappoint you. You know, I, I come to bring the, bring the pain. I come to bring the excitement. And uh, like I always say, don't blink, baby. Because bam, baby, good night. My new nickname is Dr. Sleep, and I'm, a, I'm adopting that, 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 that name. So I got Night Cool in the right hand. I told him to bring a pillow and bring a blanket because it gets chilly over here as well. So, so, you know, I can't wait. Bomb Squad!